Is the Skyless back up? <laughs> About town. Lazy repairmen these days. Getting paid for what? If this happened a couple years ago, it would have been fixed in no time. Again, look, sir. If you're here to stir up trouble, kindly show yourself out. I'm begging you. I just need to see Makoto, please. I need to see the lamppost with my own two eyes. You're not allowed in Makoto, plain and simple. I'm just following company policy, got that? And your track record in Tenorio isn't doing you any favors. I saw your podcast. You're crazy. How could you do this to me? This isn't how you treat a fellow tamer. Hey, you. You see what they're doing, man. Letting big corporations control travel? <laughs> what a mistake. I know my rights, darn it. These people need a wake-up call. What is going on here? What's going on here should be illegal! Look, think of me what you will, kid. You'll, You'll all understand soon. There's something big brewing in Tenorio. Something they're hiding from you. Don't just take it from me! That lady, she's on to something big. Did that lady have yellow and purple hair? You know about Evelyn and still think I'm a whack job? Do you even know what she's doing at the Tree of Life right now? That woman only means trouble. She's gonna get everyone over there killed. Wake up, kid! Sir, quit pestering these kids and get out of here before I call the police. People like you always refuse to believe something terrible can't happen until it does. Remember my words, all of you. Evelyn. Guys, I've got to get to the Tree of Life. What are you talking about? That woman I mentioned at the barn. I need to see if she's there. If what that guy said was true, I can get in contact with her again. You can't just go running off to that place not knowing what you'll find! Just trust me on this, okay? I, I promised your parents I'd keep you out of trouble. We promised! That doesn't matter, Kira. This might just be my last chance to find her. I have to do this. Just take on the Makoto Stadium, guys. You two are cool. You'll handle it easy. Beat it for me, okay? Peace! Ah, we... We can't just let him go! But... Dad needs the research soon. I'm sorry, Andu. All right, we have to go. Take the lift when you're ready, okay?
distracted. Welcome, uninvited guest. And might I say, your fashion sense is rather lacking. Smartest move. I'd be in my stadium right now, but someone here thinks she's too cool for rules. This jerk's been poking around the ship and waking up every ghost in Orion she comes across. She's throwing off the balance of the whole ecosystem. Oh, stop overreacting. I've got a permit from Vitality Industries. My work here is crucial. Disrupting the Snorian's home is crucial? Right. Why don't you show me that dirty little permit of yours? Give it a good rinse. See if it's waterproof. I don't care who you think you are or how big your company is, Lauren. Beat it. You couldn't even beat the league. Try and stop me then, you dumb brute. Unless you're too much of a coward to make a move. I came here for. Behold, the ancient Astro Tracker. My key to the cosmos. So you were making all this mess for some ancient piece of junk? This isn't junk. Looks like junk to me. What the heck even is that thing? Spell it out for you then. It's like a map for the stars. This tech is so advanced that even our top minds of vitality can't replicate it. It's practically a work of art. With this junk, even a toddler can navigate planets, galaxies, and even constellations. It makes it that easy. But with your IQ, I doubt you could even understand it. No wonder you're clueless. I'm just saying, the Tenorian War was one of sacrifices. People just turn it all into numbers anyway. I guess that's just too much for your little seaweed brain to grasp. You want to start messing with our ecosystem? You'll have to face the consequences.
What's up? Good to see you made it back, cause I'm absolutely pumped to battle you! I mean, you seriously gave it to Lauren. Hope you're not afraid of getting a little wet. <clears throat> However, let's try to keep this battleground clean. Before we end up as relevant as the debris littering that sunken ship. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's go. <laughs>
you beat Monzi? I knew you had it in you. Look, about Endu. I can't get the thought of him getting hurt on our watch out of my mind. Uh, I'm a mess. I don't even think I can go through with challenging Monzi right now. It's just... I... I can't stand by. It could be dangerous out there. The Tree of Life is where I need to be right now. You coming with me? I'm catching the blimper taxi for a quick way there. I need to know if he's okay. Follow me there once you're ready, okay? Twelve seconds later. Officers, you need to let us in! Our friend might die in there! Oh man, you mean the green-haired boy? You know that crook? Is this some kind of setup? Have you two been mixed with him this whole time? What? No! We're not mixed up in anything! We're just trying to get to him before he gets hurt! This is official police business, kid. We can't let you through. It's too dangerous. I, I know it's dangerous, but we'd just be going in there for a second and coming straight back! <sighs> we can't take that risk. We're not losing more people to this thing. Head back to the city where it's safe. I'm not letting you through. End of discussion. Please don't make us do this. <sighs> I guess we have to then. Lila, you take on the girl. This one. This one's mine.
All right, you win. I'm giving you one chance. Get in there, find the kid, then bring him right back. We're not breathing a word of any of this to Professor Ryoko or Wisteria. Got it? All right, let's go. Evelyn, where are you? Evelyn! And you, you shouldn't be here. I came to help you out. We're partners, remember? Partners that were going to save the world together. We can't do that if you're dead! I know the risk, but I told you to lay low. You already have too many eyes on you with the law. I'll see you after this is over. Go somewhere they can't find you, before someone else- And do! Ugh, oh, this kid's killing me. Let me guess, friends of yours. Guys, I told you to go on without me! Is this her? Typical. You need to keep your mouth shut sometimes, Endu. You know how vital it is that my work here stays under the radar. If my work here gets out to the public, it could shake the wrong tree. You can trust them. Down! Everyone get down now! It's all ready to get. What is that thing? Fruit tree. Guardian of the forest. Lampyro is destroying its home. Have you lost your mind? Get away from that thing! Are you seriously just going to stand there? Relax, Endu. Brewtree may look intimidating, but it's timid at heart. If Brewtree didn't trust your friend, they would have been thrown to Arksworth on sight.
looks like the situation has resolved itself. That's exactly what I came here to do. And you, we're leaving. You two are under arrest. We've received evidence linking you to the recent terror attacks, including theft, arson, and conspiracy. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no! You have no proof! Hey, Evelyn! Ugh, of course you're here, you little brat. We have plenty of proof thanks to this guy, and even proof of our own regarding the giant trail left behind from the museum heist. Isn't that right, Bushhead? Why does everyone keep calling me that? Ray gathered witness testimonies, security footage, you name it. And now your presence here in the midst of all this mess is the icing on the cake. I don't even know where he got half of it, but I'd say he's pretty thorough either way. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in the court of law. Okay. up with me at the Makoto dock as soon as possible. We're heading to Flashton, away from this mess. <laughs>